Welcome back to the channel. So this vlog is just a continuation of a vlog I put up two weeks ago. Um, I just broke it apart so I had to come in and make a intro for it. And I also got some blue light glasses to keep my eyes from feeling tired when I'm working on my computer or whatever. But enjoy the vlog. See you. We're out of the house and I just got a little breakfast sandwich. I've been listening to Melody Martinez on a loop ever since. I think it was the 30th when the album, I don't know, when her album came out. And I've just been listening to the first three songs on a loop. The other songs I kind of like, but the first three I really like. And I'm going to listen to the whole album all the way through to see if I like any of the other songs. But I like her a lot. <sighs> okay, we are on the way to... Where are we going? We're going over to Am we're going over to Whole Foods actually so I can return some of the Amazon stuff I got that I'm not gonna use. So like the straws are too big. Um the straw caps are too small. So everything is too small. I was like the straws were too small too. But I did get on Amazon and they sell the official Stanley straws. So I got a new pack of Stanley actual straws, so fine. And I wanted to return this French vanilla at TJ Maxx and get um, like maybe three new bottles. I'm gonna get a replacement for my vanilla bean and my hazelnut because at TJ Maxx you can get them in the glass bottles and I like that a lot more versus the ones I have now that I bought on Amazon. They're almost empty. They're plastic. So I'm thinking that I'll just keep refilling the glass ones and keep those. Because even if I wanted to take the labels off and buy replacement labels, they'll still be in the nice glass bottles and I could just keep using them. So that's the plan. And so I figured I'd get two replacements for um, the two I have and then maybe one new fun flavor. So I have to see what they have. Thinking like maybe like a white chocolate, maybe I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what they have and what I end up with. <sighs> and then I think I'm gonna go home. Like I was supposed to go find some work clothes. Like I was gonna go over to Marshalls and find some work clothes, but honestly, I don't feel like it. It's kind of gray today because of the rain, and I'd rather just run this errand and then go home. is what I'd rather do. So that's what I'm gonna do, because I honestly didn't play my game all weekend. Like, I don't know what I was doing. Literally on TikTok and looking at stuff to decorate the apartment, but today I'm taking a break from all of that, and I'm gonna play some Hogwarts Legacy, some Dreamlight Valley, and maybe do a little bit of cleaning. But it's gonna be a chill on the couch day. The cats have a new toy coming because the toy that I bought them, like it was a cute toy and it was like one of the ones where you like press the button and it wiggles around, you know? But Pia was eating the little tassel pieces that, um, that wiggle around, she was chewing on them. And the listing literally said, not easily destroyed. I'm like, my cat's been playing with it for five minutes and it's already destroyed. Like, come on now. So I'm gonna return it and I'm getting something else that doesn't have rubber on it because she's gonna chew it up. She loves to chew on anything rubber, plastic, like she's gonna chew it up. So I got them a different kind of toy that wiggles around and it just has like fur on it so they'll be into that it'll move around they'll be interested but I won't feel paranoid about them in the house alone with it eating it so that's gonna come today and hopefully they like it they're not scared of it also it's almost 10 30 I've got up not super early oh my god now this battery's flashing I'm pretty sure I charged my other battery but I'm happy to be up I want to be back home by 12 I can do some cleaning. But okay, I will see you guys in a second so I can change out this battery. 
Oh, I forgot to change out this battery. Hold on. All right, new battery in. I'm gonna sit here and eat my breakfast. I also was curious because I wanna buy the full bottle of another Chick-fil-A sauce, but I wasn't sure which one to get, so I got an extra side of honey mustard and barbecue to try later on because I am curious. I also got an orange juice from home because I didn't want to pay them $4 for an orange juice that I could get for like $2, maybe less at an actual grocery store. So I brought this from home. I have like no room in my cup holder because I have this in my cup holder too. My hands are so dry. I'm tempted to stop in Ulta and get um, another one of these like lotions. It's the, I think it's called Philosophy is the brand, but they have a warm cashmere lotion. I bought the perfume and I bought the lotion, but it's at work and I kind of want to have one for at home. Only because the perfume's at home, so it's just like, I kinda wanna have some spray at home. <sighs> and a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. And we're gonna put some grape jelly on it. I haven't had Wendy's breakfast in a long time. I feel like I should pop in there an, a day this week and give their breakfast a try or another go, because I know I like it. I just haven't had it in a while, but I know it's good. And I like breakfast food. <laughs> Thinking about making another matcha today. Thinking about it. It might be pretty good. All right, so I back, went back and looked at the songs in the Melody Martinez album. I like the first three. I don't like the fourth song, but I like the fifth song. And then I'm going to listen to the rest today and just really sit there and see which other ones I like. But so far, one through three and then five. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to finish eating this, and then I'm going to go inside and do my Amazon returns, and then we're going to pop over to TJ Maxx really quick. Take a look-see. 12-12. Out here a little later than I wanted to be, but I am done. I got what I wanted and a couple extra things. I did not find extra, like, ma'am, what lane are you in? You need, like, how are you in two lanes? Oh, bat. <sighs> Anywho, I got what I was supposed to, and then a few extra things. I'll show you guys what I got when I got home, but I was actually looking for a jar to put my matcha powder in, and I couldn't find one in Home Goods or TJ Maxx, so I guess I'll just leave it in the bag. It's fine. I probably don't need a dedicated container for it if I don't plan on constantly restocking the matcha. So, whatever. I'm on my way home. I might make a coffee or a strawberry matcha. I don't know. I don't know. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home, but I'm ready to go in the house. I've had enough. Back home and he uh, wants some attention. Oh, oh, knocking stuff over. I'll show you what I got. Ouch. I believe I'll show you what I got for the cats first because every time I go to the store, I gotta get something for my babies. So I got them just a little, another little mouses with some bells. They're just cute. They're gonna like them. This color variation, I'm not really loving. He's just like a little canvas dude. 
little brown one's cute. I feel like they'll like this one the most because they like fuzzy stuff. Like, Ramsey's already coming over. You want to see? You want one? Oh, shit. They're being really cute. Here. You want it? You want it? This one does not have a bell, so I don't know if they'll be interested in this one, but oop, we'll give them both. Oh, wow. Ramsey's actually playing with the one that does not have a bell. Okay. Ooh. All right, so I got some more acetone. This one just says tip. Oh, it does say acetone soak off. I always buy this one. Every time I go to TJ Maxx, I try to keep two bottles of acetone on me at all times because you never know. So my other one is like very low and then I have a full one. So it was time to get a new one. Usually I get the red cap. I don't know why this one says tip remover. Usually I buy the red one and it just says acetone, but got a replacement for that. Um, I could not resist. They had these glass nail cutter like nail files cram always has cute stuff like i'm gonna have to go on their website and just see what they sell in general but they always have cute hello kitty or sanrio stuff so yeah little glass nail files and it comes with the travel case i've decided that i only want to own cute things in the shades like light like i want to wear my black clothes you know and sometimes i do a little color clothes but i only want things in like pastel pinks uh grays whites and sometimes a little pastel purple but yeah i only want to own cute things so i got these uh cuticle cutters or cuticle nippers because the ones i have have like silver handles and i would prefer to have one with a pink handle i got little headbands i actually got two i'll show you the second one in a second but i got some work pants just some black work pants. A little thing of edge control. Even though I never slick my edges, but today might be the day. We got a vanilla bean in a glass bottle. So I'm gonna replace my vanilla bean in the plastic bottle with that. I did not find a hazelnut, but it's okay. They did have tiramisu, white chocolate, French vanilla, coffee, but I didn't want any of those. And I thought these looked good. They're waffle cones filled with hazelnut and chocolate as a little snack. Might be good. Um, I also got this trash can because the cats won't stay out of my trash can in the bedroom. So I had to go ahead and get rid of it. And actually it's sitting over there, but now I have one with a lid that they can't get into. And as for the headbands, now this is kind of gross, but I wanted it anyway, so I got it. So I wanted this headband because it's cute little ears and it's pink. But for whatever reason, somebody stuck a piece of gum to the back. So when I was talking to the lady, I was like, don't touch that. But I still want it. So we're going to throw that away. Let me put my hair down so I can show you guys. I love these kind of things when I'm like washing my face. And I've never had one that had ears. I thought it was so cute just <laughs> as I'm washing my face. How cute, how cute, like I love, so cute, I love that. So I got that one, and is the fluff coming off? It seems like it is. Then I also got a little gray one with ears. The fluff comes right off of these. Okay, this one might be my favorite because it's like the scrunchiest. Ooh, okay, hold on.
Like, I can't get over it. This one's for sure my favorite. I love that. Look how big the ears are. That's so cute. When I'm in there washing my face, I can just put my little headband on. I love that. <sighs> they had some Hello Kitty ones that I wanted, but the Hello Kitty ones had, like, a sequence bow. Like, I don't like sequins. Like, hologram. Like, I like solid colors. I like glitter on certain things, but I don't know if I, like... I wasn't feeling it, so that's what I got. Throw away my trash. And apparently that lotion I wanted, that lotion I wanted, I went into Ulta and apparently they discontinued or they don't carry lotions anymore. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah. I'm going to go put my stuff away and... Hold on, I really want to open this up. I keep on making sure I haven't lost any rhinestones. I feel like I did a pretty good job reinforcing them, but you never know. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're playing with the toy. They like the one with the bell, the little brown one with the bell. They like it. Ramsey's like picking it up and he took it to the kitchen. He just brought it back out here. Ramsey likes to play with toys. Pia kind of likes toys, but Ramsey, he'll grab a toy and play by himself. Pia likes to like, she likes twist ties. Like she'll play with some twist ties and things like that by herself, but she prefers trash. Ramsey will play with a toy. Okay, but here's the now file. It's got Hello Kitty, little flower. This one's just plain. A little ombre pink and then the little carrying case is pink and they both just fit in there and you close your case and you have your cute little glass nail files how precious let's go ahead and open up this one too let's just open up everything and get rid of all the trash oh Pia played with the toy for a second. They like it. It has catnip in it. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but they're, they like their toys. Ooh, I like this. Cute little cuticle cutter. You put the little cap back on it. All right, I'm gonna go put all my stuff down and then I'm gonna sit on the, lay around for a little bit and then I'm gonna get up and do some cleaning. But right now, I just want to chill for a little bit. My little hair clip. Actually, I was just wearing a ponytail holder. What happened to that? So we are getting ready to go out to Longhorn because we forgot to take meat out of the freezer to make dinner at home. So we're gonna go out and eat. I wanted to go to BJ's, but I've never been to BJ's, and we'll just save going to BJ's for a different day, and we're going to go to Longhorn tonight, so I'm looking forward to that bread. Pia's with me. Um, I think Ramsey's underneath the bed or in the window, because that's what he likes to do. Um, I need to do my eyebrows. Maybe I'll do them tomorrow while I'm at work. Um, can you can you get out of my makeup, please? I don't even know what I want to wear. I like I don't think I want to wear the same sweatshirt, even though it's comfortable and I would like to wear it. But I'm gonna put on some real clothes. I wish I shaved my legs so I can wear a dress. But who has the time? Yeah, my eyebrows are bad. You guys can't tell. Hmm. You can't tell. I'll address them tomorrow. After I got home, I seriously did nothing. I've just been, I took like maybe like a 30 minute nap cause I was getting kind of tired. But I was kind of thinking like, I wish the Dreamlight Valley people would announce when there's gonna be an update so I can have my off days accordingly. This is the second time they've come out with an update and the update's gonna come out the day after I have a vacation day and it's just like you guys if 
you tell me ahead of time that you're gonna come out with an update, I can call off accordingly or I can put a vacation day in accordingly. So there's that. Hmm. It's fine. They, it's like that bushy style, you know? I've been into using these bling sticks that I got from Amazon and I just like this girl that I watch, she does like nail videos, but she had bought these and pretty sure that's who it was. It's either a girl who does nails or it's the girl who makes stickers. I don't know which one because I started watching them at the same time and they both wear very similar makeup. So one of them was using the bling sticks and I like to use like the gold, you guys can't see anything anyway, but I use like a gold one down here and then like the white one in the center or in the corner of my eyes. And I use my Fenty and put a little bit more glitter in the center of my eyes. I haven't been doing any eyeliner lately. I've just been wearing mascara and calling it a day, but. And my Rare Beauty blush. I always end up putting on too much blush and I try to like move it to the other side of my face. I feel like you guys can't see anything that I'm doing anyway, so I'm just kind of talking. Anthony's in the shower and it just got bright. Maybe I will do an eyeliner today. Oh no, this is the Milani one. This is not what I want. This is the one I want. The lids feel very similar. So I grabbed the lid and realized like this feels off. Like I'm becoming obsessed with owning white things. Like I don't want to wear white clothes, but I like having the white Stanley cup. And now I'm like, do I want a white purse? Do I want white headphones? Like I have these, they're kind of obnoxious colored, but I feel like if I had the white ones, like they'd probably get dirty pretty fast because the products and stuff in my hair. So that would happen, but I just feel like, I don't know. It just seems like, I don't know. Owning white things just seems so responsible. Like having all black like black does not show dirt but having white stuff and it looks white and it looks clean it just looks like oh you you're really put together huh like i don't know it's just something really put together about white things like i don't trust myself to wear white clothes i would never take it that far but you know white socks white nails like really cute i don't even know if i trust myself to have white shoes like i have a pair of gym shoes and they're like cream not white because I don't I don't trust myself like that even like having like a white Nintendo switch it just feels like such a vibe like what a vibe um eyeliners don't match but I don't really care I feel like this hairstyle would look better if I curled my hair but I am not I don't know how to curl my hair I feel like I need to learn I have that Dyson air wrap I need to do like a video series where I learn how to do hair because I don't like all I know how to do is I just like probably within the last three or four years learned how to take care of my hair probably not even that probably within the last two I'm trying to think because I used to wear like clip-ins in my hair like when I first started my YouTube channel I would wear clip-ins and it was fun like I liked having the clip-ins because you would have like that luxurious long hair and the volume loved it but then after a while like the quarantine happened and it was just like girl we were in the house for a year and I was still maintaining my hair and nails even though I was not leaving the house nobody could see me but you know I'm keeping my nails I'm keeping up but my hair, I just decided to stop wearing my clip-ins and started wearing my hair more often. And then my hair grew. And then I was just like, okay, well, I'll just keep wearing my hair. I'm not going to keep wearing the clip-ins because the clip-ins were like 
you wash your hair and then you also had to wash your clip-ins it was a lot also my hair was like really like short in some places like now it's like kind of like a good length because I found products that worked for my hair and I got like a routine down but now I need to learn how to style it because all I know how to do is wash it blow dry it straighten it maybe put it up in a half up half down put a swoop with a hair clip like I don't know how to do actual hairstyles but I feel like this hairstyle would be really cute if it had like some curls like it's not as cute straight it looks kind of stupid because it's just like I don't know but if my hair had with curls and stuff this hairstyle would be really cute so maybe I should probably put on some mascara but maybe before I wash my hair because I'm probably gonna wash it maybe Monday next week so I think I can get another week out of this hair but Maybe I'll try styling it and all that. Just see how I like it. I also, oh, I bought this Edge Control today. And this is the brand, my shampoo and conditioner that I use and my deep conditioner, it's like this one, the Shea Moisture Jamaican Castor Oil. So the other one I bought was a hair gel, like the last vlog, I believe I bought it was like a brown hair gel and I didn't like it because as soon as I put it in my hair, Ramsey just jumped up here. As soon as I put it in my hair, it like started making my hair curly. And I'm like, mm, no, it's not what I was going for. I want it sleek. So this claims to be an edge control. This is not the right mascara. <sighs> the they're real is better. Ramsey's creeping around. He's creeping. Ew, ew, ew. Stop it. He's trying to steal these dirty Q-tips. No. Well, I messed up putting that other mascara on first, but it's okay. I'll just put this on over it and then find something to wear. Maybe I have a cute pair of pants in there I could put on. Like, ooh, oh. I just ran some mascara through my hair. Is this a black piece? Okay, this is a piece that's supposed to be dark anyway. It, it'll be okay. It'll be all right. Eh. All right, let me find something to wear really quick. I kind of want to put on my new gloss. Ooh, this one's tinted. It's like a strawberry. I think the one that I lost that was like this was pear. And I only got it because it was like clear. And it didn't have a super strong pear smell, but now I have berry. And then the purple one I have is gummy. I think the uh, I think they have one that's mango, like do I need that on top of I have the little jars what is this one this one's candy and I also have vanilla so I think I have two of each I have two pots and two glosses now this smells pretty good I feel like strawberry is a really like girly smell I really don't like fruity so yeah oh it's peach hmm so they have gummy bear, grapefruit, ooh, berry, and peach. Would I be into that? I don't know. All right, let me find something to wear. All right, this is what I decided to wear. The background's a mess, but this little dress has like fur on the neck. Feel like this dress makes you feel like I'm built like a toaster, but it's okay because I know it's a lie. I'm not built like a toaster. A toaster? Yeah, just real square in the middle, <laughs> or a fridge, a small fridge, but still a fridge. So <laughs> It's ten o'clock. I'm tired. I probably only plan on being up for like another hour. 
and then I want to go to bed. We end up swinging by five. Ooh, what's the light doing? We end up swinging by five below because apparently Anthony's never been. And I keep seeing on TikTok that there's all this Hello Kitty stuff. So I went. And I got this for my, um, oh, ew. I thought this was normal Starburst. These are favorite red Starburst. And the only ones I like out of this are the Fruit Punch. So I think I might give these to my cousin. But Mike and Ike's are my favorite candy because um, three of the flavors are citrus. So I got these for my work desk. Like most of this candy, it's like I'll eat one or two pieces a day. It's just like give me something a little sweet while I'm working. So this will probably last me all year. Most times I just like having candy as decor and then I never eat it. I just like looking at it and I like owning it. But I never like just sit there and eat a bunch of it. And then I got some Hello Kitty stuff. Lighting. Oh my God. Um, I got some Hello Kitty stuff from Five Below because it was like, they were about to close. They closed in like 10 minutes and I felt bad for even being in there. But I was just like, I really want to look at some stuff. So I got this little My Melody pin. Look how cute she is. I was gonna take it to work and have my work desk really cute. I got these device decal stickers. Really cute. These are the ones that come. I like little strawberry milk and little game. My Melody, these are really cute. We don't know if I like any of these. Maybe the little strawberry. Oh, yeah, these are all cute. So I got these decals for my, probably put some on my work laptop. And then I got these variety stickers. So cute. I don't know how I feel about this head shape, Hello Kitty. There's like very different styles. And this one is like the very long head style. Like, I don't know. They draw her head different every couple years. Like, do you see how her head is shaped here? That's a different head shape. It's more rounded at the bottom versus this head shape is more flat at the bottom I don't like the flat bottom or flat bottom head hello kitty I like the more old school round head bottom or round style but she's cute too and then I got this notebook look how cute it is I didn't look inside it's just a little little dots but it's got these cute little tabs at the top And it just says be kind and she's just like sleeping so cute i'm telling you guys i only want cute things um there's even a cute little page in here does each tab have its a cute page oh all the pages are the same oh no they're not look each page each little pat tab has its own um mm, i love it I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. I love it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm taking this stuff to work. I want my desk at work to be cute. And then I'm gonna take these over to my aunt's. Maybe I'll go to my aunt's tomorrow because I still have that candy in the car. I have some stuff for Taylor. I'll add this to the stash and take this all over for the house for them. I'm about to lay around for like an hour, then I'm gonna go to bed. Maybe play with the cats for a little bit. Get them more out for bed. Oh, I didn't even show you. So, I got a little grip thing for the bottom of my Stanley Cup. A little rubber, rubber stopper thing. And then it came with a pink one. Maybe I should put the pink one on there. Pink one is actually why I bought it. So maybe I want to put that on there. And then it came with like these cute little... Little sticker things. He's kind of cute, but I mostly like the bear. Little bear. He's really cute. I want to use him. I think I might. Yeah, I for sure want to use him. That's some chewing gum. I can blow a bubble. Hold on.
Yep. Okay. Hold on. Let me show you guys the uh, the cat's new toy. Hopefully it's not dead. <clears throat> I got them this. Somebody's already started trying to rip it apart. I think I know which who it was. Did the battery die? I think the battery died. I had to charge it, but it like flips around. It like moves around and like all this other stuff. They like it. I'm done for the day. I might vlog some more tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. You're so cute. Such a cute face. <laughs> You're so cute. I think tomorrow I might wake up early, wear the same hairstyle, but maybe try to curl it. We'll see. But, all right, I'm about to um, disintegrate and melt into the couch for a little bit. See you in the next clip. Ooh, so happy to be home from work, and it's like storming. Ramsey touched my leg. Um, yeah, we have like a tornado warning, but I doubt it's gonna be an actual tornado here. They're always warning us, but nothing ever shows up, so. Like, I feel so bad. Like, I just got home and the cats, like, they want attention. But I got two jackets from Macy's and I wanted to try them on, but my kids, they need me. Can you wait a second? Can I put you down for like two minutes? And I'll pick you back up. Yeah pick you back up and you stink did you fart you stink stink or is it Pia one of you guys stinks but I want to try on these jackets so I got one is a men's jacket and I got it in a medium I think it's cute and I bought it because it looks very similar to the jacket that I wear all the time but it's just black oh, oh I love it hold on it's just like one of those like fuzzy Sherpa kind of materials and it's a Levi's jacket it was on clearance at Macy's I just wanted another jacket like this one but had a plain pattern that I can wear and it's like oversized. It's cute. It has inside pockets. Let's see if I back up without stepping on a cat. Comes down, kind of covers like my butt, but I think this is really cute. I like this. I love that whole Sherpa, like teddy bear kind of look. I love it. You guys gotta shop in the men's section. Don't be scared. Sometimes the men have all the clothes. So Macy said that regular price, this was $108. I got it for 30. And I probably got it for less because they were taking additional money off of what was on clearance. So there's that. And then I got a cream one because this one's extra cozy try this one on this one is a women's size but I got it in a medium oh, it's so soft Wow I'm glad I got a medium and not a small because the sleeves are like just right anything smaller would be too small on me like this is good and I can zip it all up and look how cozy all right, that's what it looks like. And this one actually comes down a little further underneath my butt, but it's cute. This one I probably got for around the same price as the other one. These are really cute. These nice like little springtime jackets that I can wear for the rest of my life. I love it. This one was regular price, $100 too, and I'm pretty sure I paid $30 or less. <sighs> and then I also got these containers for when you buy like Oreos or things in the package and they're gonna go stale in the original packaging. So I figured I would open up the Oreos or whatever and put them in these kind of containers. I hope this is a good size. 
I'm not feeling too confident based off of the box size, but you never know. We could probably fit half of the pack of Oreos in there, but we have three, so it's okay. Some Oreos will go in the packaging, some will go elsewhere. I definitely should have sized up. Maybe I'll put granola or something else in it, but I'm becoming a container girl. So maybe I'll go one size up for cookies. Like, look at this one. They have like, what are these, like biscuits? Something crunchy. So yeah, maybe I'll try to figure out what size that is and go up. Like maybe go up one size from here. But, okay. Dreamlight Valley had an update today and I need to edit this video. So I'm gonna end it here. So I can maybe start editing tonight, finish up tomorrow so I can have the vlog up on Friday. So I hope this vlog was interesting. Um, next vlog, I might try to do some hair stuff. I don't know. Something different than just a normal vlog. I'll figure something out. <sighs> it might be a vlog. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But bye. If you guys made it this far, leave a... Did we do a bunny emoji? I don't think we did. I think we did a carrot. But let's do a little rabbit emoji. Just because it's getting close to Easter, I think. I think. Well, it's April and Easter is in April, so it's close enough. So leave a little rabbit emoji or an egg emoji, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, I forgot to try that dill ranch. I'll next vlog, I promise. I'll try it. I I promise.